G'day folks, it's Skippy from On Tour Fishing Australia. Now I'm here today with uh, Matt from MJF Fishing Rods, one of the two, Matt, okay. beautiful rods, as you might have seen before uh, on my page, are specially designed, made for the Alvey reels with that um, low, butt, low butt, but what Matt's going to do today is demystify some of the things associated with rods. Tell us a bit about what, what all the numbers mean, mate. Yeah, Skip, so this one here is made on a, a Snyder glass CR4126 rod blank. Mm -hmm. CR standing for club rod. Okay. And what we've got there, we've got the first uh, digit there, that means four wraps. Four so that's wraps. four wraps of glass that's gone around to make this rod at the butt. 126 and 126, those digits mean they are uh, in the old um, measurement in inches. Mm -hmm. So 126 inches but mostly uh, everyone refers to that as a 10 foot 6 rod. Okay Matt, so yeah, it takes us a bit about the, uh, tell us a bit about the wraps. Yep, so you can see here on this side Skip, you can see that this here is a, this is a CR6145 FT. Okay. And you can see that that's got, uh, it's got six wraps around the bottom here mm -hmm. that they've wrapped uh, on the mantle. And that's fiberglass mate? And that's fiberglass, yep, yep uh, that is correct. And then on this side here, we've got a CR4136. Mm -hmm. So that's a four wrap and you can just see the difference there of the thickness yep. uh, compared to each other uh, is, uh, is a, you can definitely see that's a yep. lot more thicker. And so the advantage of the lighter wraps mate, when you want a sort of lighter lighter ride or whatever for more whippier soft yeah, action just for, want the, that for the soft action, yeah for those whiting for yep. the you know your brim any of your bread and butter mm -hmm. sort of species skip you know what i mean gives that sort of slower sort of action with it uh when it yep. just loads so, up so we'll go down here so then the other thing so in terms of we call this the the taper mate is it yeah so the it's a tapered from... yep the taper starts obviously it, it goes thicker yep. uh, from the bottom and then obviously works its way and goes thinner okay so there we're talking about the taper of the rod and then in terms of action we've got this this one here the on the uh, the four wraps yep see yes. there how sloppy yep. that is that's a nice yeah, slow very, bend very isn't bend. it so very. that's beautiful for the whiting because when they pick that up. You know, in it in close, you know, the rod's pulling down and before they know it they're hooked. As opposed to, you know, a stiffer rod. Yes. They pick it up yep. and they're feeling boom that resistance and That's they'll it. drop the they'll bait. Just drop it. So back to you then this um six wrap rod. Obviously you know, much sort of uh thicker uh, butt section, whatever. Yep. So that's for bigger fish, mate. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's yep. just to handle those bigger fish that you might get on. And this mm -hmm. one here, uh, the CR four one, uh, the CR six one four five, that is designed for your tailor fishing. Uh, you can catch a small dew on that. Mm -hmm. uh, anything like that, mate. You know what I mean? Anything that's uh, that's a uh, that's significantly bigger than your whiting and stuff like yep. that. So now down here in terms of this distance um, between the real seat, which we'll talk about in a moment, and the butt. Yeah. Now, tell us a bit about what if people say have, have chosen um, wisely on, on an alvey and they want to um, uh, match it up. What should they be looking for in terms of this distance? Well, it all depends on the person that's actually buying the rod there, Skip. Yep. You know, I mean, what they sort of prefer and their, what they're comfortable with, with mm -hmm. how they have their alvey. For me, and myself, uh, for me and Jace, we've designed these rods to be a low action rod. Uh, yep. So, uh, sorry, a low mounted rod. Yep. Um, and that's just for, that's just for a comfort thing for yep. us. We like to have our rods uh, sitting, uh, we like to have our reels sitting a lot closer down towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. Some people like a medium sort of mount. They want to have their rod up underneath maybe their arm yep. or anything like that. And then some people do like to have a higher sort of uh, yeah. amount for their, their reel uh, whether it be alvey or spin reel yeah. and that's just a comfort thing for them but for us we go traditional low mount um of a of an alvey uh and that's just because the way we've designed that and yeah. what we think is comfortable i couldn't agree more so generally when you know do that uh, bait fishing or you're there with the um uh, spin in the gutters for, say for tail you're doing that slow wind or yep. whatever you want that your sort of hand nice and comfortable in sort of close to you if you're reaching out here in terms of you know you wind up here or up here you're soon going to get sore arms but yeah i think it's a different matter isn't it then if you're say spinning with say the lv orbiter you've you're sort of you know you're holding it up and you know you you're getting that fast action Correct. with it Correct. tucked up under your arm Correct. so tell us about this uh, uh real seat mate and we'll compare that to uh, the traditional one yeah yep yeah. so this one here's the this is a uh this is our plate seat that we use mm -hmm. it's a bind on plate seat 
So that seat there, uh, it's got two little ends there. We bind over those and bind in the middle here to keep mm -hmm. it down onto the blank. But these are also a padded real seat, uh, uh, real seated hood. So in there, it's cushioned and cushioned on the outside. Uh, and these here just fit snug with your Alvi fitting yep. uh, and they just lock over the top. But they're just a quick release as well. Very easy to clean after a day of fish. Okay, well let's compare that over here to this beautiful, um, now this one is the rainbow, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, now you see here, one of, the, one of what the guys of the MJF rods do is this beautiful coloration uh, scheme. So look at this in terms of matching the reel to the rod, absolutely magic. So let's pull that up and let's have a look just at the, this is more the sort of traditional yeah, real this seat. is that's your wind on real seat. Yep. Been around since uh, for forever. Yeah. Um, yeah. So very, uh, you know, very sort of. It's the general purpose sort of, you know, uh, wind on real seats. There, everyone sort of knows these ones. It's obviously a quick unwind, and um, your reel's locked in. Fantastic. Uh, but uh, yeah, that, that's what people have um, been used to, still used to, and still what we use anyway. So mm. it's specifically for. Uh, these new Alvi you know, reels that they've brought the in. Turbo cast. Yeah, the turbo yeah. cast sort of uh, uh, reel seat there. While we're, while we're on it, folks, if you've been into this turbo cast here, you can see that the reel is just that little bit further distance away from the rod. And so when that line is propelled out, so you're not getting that resistance off the rod until further along, being away from the rod, so you will get longer casts. And yeah. again, these boys have matched it perfectly with their rods. So. Okay, now the other thing you'll see here, the punters, is actually got no grip. We don't like to have grips on our rods, apart from the, the, the heat shrink is an exception, but that's still feeling like you, you've got, you don't have that uh, sort of heaviness of foam grips on here. And um, it's also not absorbing, yeah, the foam will often might absorb those little subtle bites. Yes, exactly right. So, yeah, yeah. so that will be, um, you know, we just feel everything come through the blank, yeah, uh, right down to where you're holding your line, yeah, uh, waiting for that bite. You so. can just feel it come through, but you know, um, uh, it's not everyone's sort of cup of tea, and you know, people still like to use the foam grips mm -hmm. because they, you know, it's just something that they're used to. Um, but you know, um, so for that you offer an alternative. In terms yeah, the of alternative would be a heat shrink that yep. we um, can do that can get closest to a grip that we uh, like to use, mm -hmm. um, and that heat shrink uh, just goes over the top of this blank, mm -hmm. is uh, bound on by a heat gun yep. that shrinks and just holds on to. Uh, holds but on it's to much the lighter weight. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. It just feels like it just gives that little bit of grip. Um, yeah. that uh, someone might be looking for, yeah. but it's not necessarily a big grip that uh, we would like to fish with. But that's just our personal design yeah. of these rods. Okay, well, thank you very much, Matt. That's been uh, sensational. Uh, and hopefully you've learned a bit about um, uh, rod short.